Welcome to APM Training by Wisdom Trainings. We'll be studying the module number one, which is Introduction to Mobile Automation using APM. In the next module, we'll see how to configure APM on Android, and we'll see on the iOS device as well. If you have any questions watching this uh, free module, you can ask your question under the Speak Your Mind section, right? And moving ahead. Look, the thing is, uh, this module mostly will be theoretical. You might find it theoretical, but it is very important in terms of understanding what APM is, how it works, what is JSON Wire protocol, and what is the best way to learn it. Fine, and what are the prerequisites as well? Okay, so let's start with it. And out here, these are the things which I'll be discussing: the advantages and features, and the JSON Wire protocol. Then we'll be Discussing few FAQs which most of the people have when they join the course. Now, what are the features and advantages of Appium? This is the first question which almost everybody has. There are number of features and advantages. Of course, it is for automating mobile applications. Fine, but it can automate both Android as well as iOS applications. Along with it, it can automate both. Native as well as hybrid apps on Android as well as iOS. What are native apps? What are hybrid apps? I cannot tell you right now, but in the next module when I'll tell you how to install Appium, you will be very clear with what native and hybrid apps are. Another thing is it is open source. Of course, open source things are famous in the market. Most of the companies go for it, and it is very stable as well. Now. The thing is, it can be used with the rear device as well as emulator or a simulator. Appium can automate applications on a real Android or iOS device. If you don't have an Android or iOS device, you can use Android emulator or iOS simulator on the machine, and you can automate the apps in that. As a beginner, many times people don't have a phone as well, so that's the thing. You can use Android emulator or simulator, but it is little slow as well. The next thing is, Appium can be used with Grid. This is again a very good thing, a very good feature of Appium, because in Grid you can have a single machine and you can connect multiple phones to that machine. When you connect multiple phones to the machine, you can run the scripts parallelly. Of course, it saves time, but apart from saving time, it gives you the flexibility to run tests on different operating systems and phones. You can run tests on different versions of Android, right? So this is again a very good and important advantage of Appium. Again, Appium as a tool is available in multiple programming languages, and you can choose the programming language with which you have to implement it. Most of the times, people go for Java. Java is very famous. And as far as the comparison of Appium with other automation testing tools which are available in the market, as far as the com comparison goes, then these are the automation testing tools which are there in the market. And if you look at most of them, most of them are not supporting iOS. Only Calabash and Appium they support iOS. And if you compare Calabash and Appium, then Appium is available in almost any programming language, but Calabash is available only on Ruby. And Calabash can automate browsers only in Android, but Appium can automate in Android as well as iOS. So mobile mobile web, which means browsers, they can be automated only in Android by Calabash. So no doubt about it that. Appium is the best tool to work with. Fine. Now moving ahead. At times, you come across JSON Wire protocol. That Appium is. You hear the wording that Appium is working on JSON Wire protocol. What it is? What is this protocol? To understand what it is, you need to understand that your PC. In your PC, you will be installing Appium. Then you will be connecting your Phone to the PC, and whatever command your Appium will fire on the phone should reflect on the application. Suppose with Appium you open up WhatsApp, and if you want to send a message to a friend, 
if you want to write a script to send a message to a friend with Appium, then Appium has to fire few commands to WhatsApp. Alright, so to fire the commands, you actually fire the Android commands. Internally, the command is the Android command or the iOS command. Fine, and to fire such commands, you need a medium. You need a medium and the medium is JSON wire protocol. JSON wire protocol is the medium with which the commands are fired by Appium on the phone and they interact with the application under test. Alright. So this is JSON wire protocol. You don't need to understand how it works. Internally, this is the layer. Whatever code you write. Fine. Let me explain you. This is your Appium code. This is your, suppose this is your Appium code. This code with the help of JSON wire protocol. Okay, when JSON wire protocol comes in, right, what happens is that whether it is your Android device or iPhone device, both can be automated. Okay, JSON wire protocol has the feature to send command to Android as well as iOS. Okay, this is your Android suppose and this is your iOS. Fine, JSON wire protocol has got the capability to, to fire both the commands. So, whatever Appium code you write, a single code, with the help of JSON wire protocol, you can fire the command on Android as well as iOS. So, a single code single piece of code can automate both Android as well as iOS. So this is the advantage. Fine. In a very layman's term, I am telling you that you don't have to write separate code for Android and iOS. Okay. So just be with me as we proceed with the course, you will be more clear. Fine. So this is how Appium works and what are the features of Appium. Next, we will be seeing our different FAQs. These are the FAQs which uh, people generally have when they are joining the course. Let us start with these FAQs in the next section.